Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about solar power and is it worth it in Thailand. Um, since I put a, a little taster on YouTube with regard to solar power in Thailand, I've had lots of requests to do further videos on the solar power in Thailand. I'm currently building a solar system at my house here in Rayong and follow my future videos and I'll show you the build up of it. But today, is going to talk about payback. Is it worth it here in Thailand to do solar power? Um, today's video, there's lots of facts and figures and, and explanations. I'm going to put some headings up on the side here and that will go through the explanations as I'm going through the video. So at least you can see a reference of it and then follow it, hopefully. Uh, lots of facts and figures and so if anybody's got any comments, please leave your comments in the section below. So, my system, I've got some notes here that I'm going to refer to. So if I keep looking down, excuse it, because there's a lot of facts and figures to remember. So the system that I'm designing, or the system that I've gone with, is what's called a grid tie system. So what's a grid tie system, many people are asking. Well, it's a system used... So you don't have any batteries. It is probably one of the simplest systems you could use and it's tied to the grid. So what's a grid tie system compared to batteries? Like I said, no batteries. There's three elements, the solar panel, the grid tie inverter, and it's only usable in daylight hours. So then with the three factors. Is grid tie system legal in Thailand? Uh, yes, it is for commercial properties as far as domestic properties as yet it isn't legal in Thailand but you can still buy the grid tie inverters and use it and basically what it does it sends electricity back onto the grid but the beauty of the grid tie inverters is when the electricity grid goes down the inverter shuts off as well because it needs a, a power supply from the grid to actually let it know that it's getting a power supply from the grid so it actually sends power back to the grid through the inverter. The grid tie inverter is a special device so when the grid goes down it switches the inverter off so your solar panel doesn't send the electricity back onto the lines endangering the linesman. So if the authorities see that your electric meter is going backwards they'll change it to a meter that doesn't go backwards if you're putting electricity back onto the grid so in other words they're getting free electricity by you putting it onto the grid and you don't get paid for it so as yet that doesn't happen to domestic users the only industrial and commercial properties that have a, a proper a license agreement to put electricity back onto the grid in Thailand. So I ask you, why have a, a grid tie system? What's the use of a grid tie system if you're going to send any excess power onto the grid? So you don't need any batteries to back up your electricity supply during the day because you've got the national grid, which is like one big battery that you can use. So basically your solar panels offset any electricity that you use during the day. So if you're using more power than what your solar panels are making, the grid supplies the rest of the power that you need. Therefore, it gives you a sustainable power supply and a power source using the grid. So who would benefit from using a grid tie system? Well, there are many people, such, such as me. We're only a very small electrical user and uh, we only have a one panel, 340 watt panel, but that gives us an average of 1,500 watts per day. Our electricity bill is only about seven or 800 baht a month very very cheap our electricity bill because we hardly use the air conditioning and we're very frugal with our electricity and so therefore even with our system we're looking at savings of about 180 200 baht a month that's if everything goes correctly and the figures that i've worked out are correct who would benefit from this system such as us we, we're home most of the time so the system with the tv's on the fridge is on the water pump to pump the water so we we sort of steady away using electricity all day so over that period of time um you know the the solar panels offset some of the cost of using our electricity but the advantage of this system would be to those people who have a constant use of electricity all day for instance if they are children at home or aged parents are at home that are staying at home all the time or if you've got a swimming pool and you need to use the the pumps all day 
having solar panels will offset your electricity bill. And I'm going to come further on to that as to how much you can possibly save by using this system. So you'll see a picture of my solar panel. It's actually not on the roof because we only rent this house, so we put it in a more convenient situation. Now one side of our house is south facing so it gets the sun all day. The rest of our house is covered in shade so therefore it doesn't heat up as much as this south facing wall. So we decided to put a solar panel and that stops the sun from heating the wall up directly and it also gives us um, a point where we can put our solar panel. And I'll put the solar panel there and it does stop a lot of the sun from heating up the wall so therefore it makes the bedroom cooler during the day so that's less energy to to use to get that bedroom cool i'm also going to do another video on cooling the roof space in your house by using a solar fan uh, again watch another video with regard to that and i'll give some demonstration on how it's achievable and how much potentially money you can save and why have a uh, attic fan and not in this video, in a future video, I'm going to do a video on my solar build-up, how I built my panel, how I built the extra safety features within my panel. So why bother buying a cheap solar system? Well, there's money you can save straight away. There's saving the environment, so there's actually uh, using less energy from the power stations, etc. etc. By using solar, it actually ticks a few boxes anyway in the environmentally friendly world that we're trying to live in. So by buying a cheap system now, technology advances very, very quick rate now with regard to solar power. The price of the panels have come down, the price of inverters are gonna come down, prices of battery technology is gonna come down. So everything is gonna be cheaper in the long run. So all I'm saying now is you can have a taster of all of this solar energy. We have an abundance of sunshine here in Thailand. So therefore, it just makes sense that one day it will happen here in Thailand. And one day I'm sure grid tie will become legal in Thailand. So therefore getting paid to be able to put electricity back onto the grid system, it's a step away. So they're already doing it into the government buildings, hospitals, schools. There's also big plans for the government to make every school and every hospital solar powered in the next 10 years or so. So big leap forward with regard to solar technology here in Thailand. So estimated payback time on a grid tie solar powered system. I'm going to put some, some examples up here and so I'll follow it along as I'm going along. So a grid tie system, the very basic system that you need. The system I would recommend is two 340 watt solar panels, assuming the actual supply voltage of 500 watts, and it could be higher than this. Uh, one cheap 1000 watt grid tie inverter, no batteries, no charge controllers, and that's it. So two panels and one grid tie inverter and the cables and a bit of DIY skills and putting it all together. So that's all you need to be able to save a substantial amount of money over a period of time. My system comprises of one 340 watt solar panel, 1000 watt inverter and the cables and then it works from there. It's basically a plug and play system. But I've got to say I've, I've gone a little bit further, a little further in trying to future proof it and I put safety devices on it and again I'll go through all of that lot with my video on what I did. So I've gone a little bit above the basic system, but the basic system works. You just plug and play and away it goes and you can save some money on it. And there's going to be some controversy because people are going to be saying you just plugged it in and it's not safe. How can you do it like this? But I'll go through all of that lot on a, on a different video. The basic system, solar panel, inverter, and that's it. Plug it into the system. And it works it puts power into your house so therefore offsetting your electricity bill so one times 340 watt 24 volt panel system gives me 1500 watts a day in january so this gives me 45,000 watts or 45 kilowatt hours of saving and that works out at 180 baht a month not a lot of money is it 180 baht a month but it all adds up so like i'm suggesting double the system up so therefore you get double the savings. And I'll go through 
a little bit later on about the payback time and how much it costs to install the system and how much you're likely and how many years it's going to take to pay back. So based on tile and sunshine hours I'll put a graph up and then you can see where I've got the information from. The best months you could possibly save up to 360 baht a month by not having to pay the electricity company and then the worst months it's 166 baht per month. Yeah, there's going to be cloudy days, there's going to be rainy days, there's going to be longer days, there's going to be shorter days. So this is based on the average of the information I've been given in Rayon. So the average monthly saving is 274 baht per month over the 12 month period. So therefore, if you get 3000 watts per day times that by a month, you're going to save about 360 baht and this is in peak months where the sun shines and it's not a cloudy day so i've estimated it at an average of 274 baht per month taking into account good days taking into account bad days so what everybody's interested in is the payback time so again I've, I've put some figures up here so the cost of a basic system this is my system that i put into my house one 340 watt panel 3029 baht one cheap Chinese inverter, which is 2,600 baht. The cables, 170 baht. So the total cost is 5,799 baht. That's how much it's cost me for the plug and play system. So the average of 137 baht per month through the electric saving. So 12 times 137 is 1,646 baht per year. So the installation cost is 5,799 baht. So a savings of 1,646 baht. So it gives me a payback time of three and a half years. Then after three and a half years, I'm going to start making money on the installation costs. So that's the annual electric base on the average sunshine hours. It's 1,648 baht. So payback time, about three and a half years. So, like I suggested, this is the system I'm suggesting to people who've got swimming pools or running a shop house where you've got a consumption of electrics all the time, such as fridge freezers, freezers, things like that. This is where you're going to get the maximum payback on the solar system, is that if you're using energy all day. So, by doubling your panels, obviously you're increasing the cost. So, we'll go through the cost. So, two 340 watt 24 volt panels is 6,058 baht. Using the cheap Chinese 1,000 watt inverter, that's 2,600. And for the cables, it's 340 baht. Insulation costs 8,998. Divide that by 3,288 baht a month savings, equals the payback time is two years, seven months. So again, annual electric base on average sunshine hours is 3,296 baht. So this gives you a payback of two years, seven months. And then after that, you're gonna start making money. So again, technology moves along. Solar panels are guaranteed from 15 to 25 years. So your solar panels really aren't gonna be the problem. Your inverter, my inverter doesn't have a guarantee with it. So if it breaks down in a year or if it lasts for two years, then that's just the, the way it goes. But 2,600 baht for an inverter, I'm not running it up to the maximum, so therefore it should last a little bit longer. I don't know, I'm just sampling it, sampling this myself. You can buy a, uh, an inverter with a five year guarantee, but there's nearly 10,000 10, baht for this inverter. So doing the same cost with the 10,000 baht inverter and your two solar panels, the payback time that is five years and four months I believe so therefore it's sort of it co it's covered by the, the warranty but then you have the the trouble of taking the inverter down sending it back to get repaired so my advice would be just to buy a cheap inverter and wait until the technology catches up it's coming along leaps and bounds now so in another year or two years time technology will be wonderful everything's going to be much cheaper so then you can upgrade your system i hope this hasn't been too confusing with regard to the facts and figures and payback time for buying solar power here in thailand um, 
it's interesting it does work the payback time is there do the figures yourself and work it out yourself it's fun and easy to do it's it's not a difficult thing to do uh, watch my video with regard to installation and making up of my system as i say i have actually added on safety systems to my system but again i can go through that when i do my video as to if you should do it shouldn't do it but as i was an electrician in england i always go the safety route anyway but the plug and play system it's there it shows you on the box and it does basically what it says on the box plug it all together plug it in it gives you power into your house and therefore you don't have to pay that power to the electricity board so if you found it interesting give it a thumbs up if you didn't find it interesting give it a thumbs down please leave your comments down below i'd love to hear what your comments are with regard to solar in thailand whether you think it's feasible or not and if you've got any questions i'm still all learning this in the first place so therefore i can answer as many questions as i can i've looked into this quite a lot this is why i'm trying to do it and trying to set it all up because i think it is worth it in the long run and solar will be coming to thailand sooner or later so from les living the dream in thailand till the next video bye for now